Hi guys, Taylor here and welcome back to Eastern Suburbs Coaching On Demand. For today's session, I am going to take you through 10 ball mastery exercises. Through these drills, you'll get lots and lots of touches on the ball using both feet and all parts of your foot as well, so you guys can become more confident and comfortable on the ball. For this session, all you need is one ball and one cone, or you can use a drink bottle or anything you have around you. So if you've got that, let's get started. For each of these skills, work hard for 30 seconds and have a good rest in between each. First up, using your right foot, you're going to move the ball around the cone. So you're using your inside, sole and outside of your foot. Next up, we're using our left foot, so my non-dominant, and we're trying to create a square with the ball. So as you see, my opposite foot is bouncing on the spot as I shift the ball around the cone. Next up, we're using both feet and doing this U-shape. So we're using our sole and inside of our foot to shift the ball. Focus on getting a rhythm with the ball and getting a good bounce in your step. What's great about these drills is you get a massive amount of touches on the ball in such a small amount of time. And there's the idea that the higher number of touches on the ball you can get, the better the chances of developing better ball control, allowing you to become more confident and adaptable as a player. Next up, we progress it further by moving the ball around the whole cone using both feet. So again, we're using the inside and sole of our foot to move it around in a square shape. Once you've got the rhythm of it, test yourself and see how fast you can do this. So next we progress it further by adding in some toe taps. So we perform four toe taps and on that last touch, we move it forward with the inside of our foot and around the cone with our sole, as you can see here. Again, focus on being really light on your feet and getting a good bounce in your step. Practicing ball mastery in a tight area is really important to your game as it will allow you to operate in tight areas under pressure such as when getting closed down by a defender more successfully and it can also allow you to become more creative in a 1v1 situation. Number 6, we move into push pulls using the inside of our foot and then again moving the ball around the cone using our sole. When you drag the ball back, ensure you're opening up your hips and have a strong ankle when you're connecting with the inside of your foot to allow a nice firm touch on the ball. Next up, still doing the push-pull, but now we're using our laces. Next up, we progress to V-cut, so we're using our sole of the foot to drag it back and the inside of that same foot to take that touch out into a shape of a V. Again, focus on getting a good rhythm and a good bounce in your step and on that second touch using the inside of your foot, really try to focus on opening up your hips and getting a good firm touch on the ball. Next up, we advance the V-cut further by adding in an L-turn. So we perform the V-cut and then we perform an L-turn using that same foot. So you're working on the right side first and then next we'll progress to using our left foot. So number 10, we're performing the V-cut and L turn with our left foot. So it's really important that we do practice both our dominant and non-dominant foot. As if you can be coordinated and control with both feet, you're going to become a more effective player on the field. And there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed today's session. Make sure you give them a go and train hard. Get those repetitions in. You can even add in your own variations and progressions to these drills. And what's really great about these is you can practice them anywhere. You only need a small space, so you can practice it in the comfort of your home. Train hard and I'll see you guys next time.